365 Days, a story based on the Polish Trilogy 365 DNI by Blanca Limpiska. Massimo as Michele, Massimo is a member of the Sicilian Mafia family and Laura is a sales director. She doesn't expect that a trip to Sicily try to save her relationship. Massimo will kidnap her and give her a 365 days to fall in love with him. Dueto, Marcelo Bianchini, as Michele. Set in 1965, Dueto tells the story of an 18 years old Cora. Cora loses her father in a tragic car accident and travels to Italy with her grandmother Lucia. When she arrived in Polignano Amare in the Puglia region where the music festival is taking place, she is enchanted by the event and by Marcello Bianchini amid family troubles. Cora knows love, admiration, and a bitter side of life. Il Processo, The Trial, Italian Crime Drama Series, Claudio Cavalieri as Michele. A group of characters involved in the brutal murder of a 17 years old Angelica. On legal side, there's prosecutor Elena Guerra, who is connected to the victim. Attorney Ruggero Baron, who sees the upcoming trial as the opportunity of a lifetime. In the series, the plots are developed with the mysterious murder as the background. A 17 years old girl is found dead. Since then, our evidence has been essential to finding the culprit. Michele plays a controversial role. He is one of the suspects in the girl's death. His alibi is his wife, Linda Monaco, played by Camilla Pelliti. Provasi and Cora Professor VI, Bruno Sacchi as Michele. He plays as a guest role. Camila Bonadino is a literature teacher who is torn between works, family, and several investigative cases in which she is involved and in which she works with the police inspector Getano Berardi with which he developed a special understanding. Como and Delfino It is the story of a 21 years old Michele who is a part of the cast of Como and Delfino 2, a fiction in four episodes. The plot of the film tells of Alessandro, a swimming champion who thanks to his experience as a sportsman in his humanity, manages to lead a group of boys destined to live a reality of violence to win the relay at the Italian Championship to swim. It is a film that highlights the deepest values of swimming, underscoring its spirit of aggregation and positive emulation healthy competition, and the ethical growth that follows and highlighting how moral strength can transform the destiny of young people without making references to men draw attention, ready to face life, a film with captivating emotions with young athletes who between feelings and passions between the difficulties of their country and the magic of water are looking for happiness and personal fulfillment. Serin, a comedy series, Ares as Michele, Ares as half human and half fish, decide to leave the sea to live a human life. He leave his fiance, Serin Yara, and move to Naples. In the Neapolitan city, he worked as a water polo player and lingerie model. Li Ultimo Giorno del Toro, a comedy movie, Valerio as Michele. Valerio is basically a good guy 
He takes refuge in his books, in his silences, in the unspoken, and in those few words spoken in a low voice. He is shy and awkward. He is someone who lives life with his head down, never with his head high, a man of the aquarium as an ampule, certainly not a sea fish. The Last Day of the Bull is a comedy about the evil of living. Una Donna Contro Tutti, Renata Fonte, a television drama film, One Woman Against All, inspired the story of a 33 years old Renata Fonte Nardo, council woman who was murdered by the mafia on March 31, 1984, for opposing building speculation in the Parto Selvaggio area. These are Gianni Livio who played the role of director, Filo Grana, Nemo Mancini who played the mayor of Nardo and Michele Morone in the role of Marcelo Mi, one of the two material executors of the murder of Renata Fonte. Who's the Beast, a horror short film, Claudia is victim of the two snuff filmmakers. She is saved by wolves when they are about to kill her. Bar Giuseppe is a drama. Luigi's Michele. Giuseppe owns a gas station and restaurant in Italy. After his wife died, he needs help with the business. He ends up leading immigrant Bikira who recently came to Italy from Africa as a waitress. Despite their significant age difference, Giuseppe and Bikira fell in love, causing a scandal in their small town and angering Giuseppe's son. Medici, Master of Florence, a television series. Michele was seen in two episodes, one in Trust as Ship Captain, two in Survival as Ship Captain 2.